but I did not write up an agenda for tonight, but we go ahead and call a meeting to order. And uh, what time is it? Do a roll call. 620. Okay. You taking the notes, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. And our roll call. Roll call mayor. Here. Um, Myrtle. Here. Eugene. Here. Brenda. Here. Floyd. Here. Steve. Here. Full council mayor. Thank you. Thank you. All right, this is a special call meeting uh, to, and we welcome our guest, and Commissioner Strickland. Thank and, you. Uh, anyway, this is a special call meeting uh, so to give the council an opportunity to ask questions of the uh, estimates provided to us from Commissioner Strickland for road work on Deans Ferry and Copperzill and uh, the more services. So, uh, Commissioner Strickland, have you got anything you want to say or address the council uh, before we start asking questions? <laughs> well, I appreciate the opportunity to come down here. Uh, it's all right if I see it, and yes, sir. I apologize for not being able to come uh, a month ago. Uh, when I said I would come, you know, uh, but anyway, I appreciate being here. Uh, thought we can visit with you to meet each one of you. I uh, look forward to working with you. Uh, there's several things down in this area that needs to be addressed. I will admit that, and uh, hopefully that we can come to a meeting and or to, to an agreement, and we can work together and get some get some things done here at the county line. Uh, well, we appreciate you coming to speak with us and, and to talk with us and appreciate the, the work that you would have put into uh, developing this estimate. Uh, but I'm more open it up to your council to, uh, for any questions that you have pertaining to this. Now, does everybody still have their copies? Yes. Yes. I didn't bring mine, but I'll look on the oh, oh, I've got to look on the I'll share with him. Mm -hmm. Well, I still have the originals here. Oh, yeah. Is that the thing? Yeah, that's a copy. Okay. There's a, there that's should a be copy. three. Pass that down. There's an extra copy. I think that's the newest number. Okay, this is. The reconciliation. Oh, that's for you. That's for the back. Is that a complete set there? First thing I, I'd like to ask a question about is the, the Copper Zeal. Is that the one I want to talk about? Copper Zeal. The one down by their house. Mm -hmm. The that, one I live on. Right. That right there, that's, that's going to be a big cost down there. Mm -hmm. And what I'm trying to find out is how much of that money would the county be willing to put up to take care of that down there? Well, uh, there's a portion of that road that belongs to the county. Right. And, and I can do work on the county road. I cannot do work on a county line road. I understand. And as far as me saying that I can put up any money for that, I cannot. I can, I can take care of the financing for the part that the county owns. Well, how much of that road does the county own? Because when they marked it off, when Wayman was the mm -hmm. uh, commissioner, it looked like there was more Blunt County than there was county line. I don't know that I measured all of it. Uh, I, see, I think this one this estimate for let, like let, me, let me rephrase it. Let me get my map, and I do have it marked on the map. Oh, okay. okay. Is three point three now. Mm -hmm. and there's nothing. Mm -hmm. oh, this, and this was for uh, point three three nine okay. miles, uh, a third of a mile. Okay. 
Oh, and that's that's our, that's our portion. Our portion. Okay, because I know from the end of the road to uh, my house is all of it. I think it's around the mile. From the from the, the end corner end the down to your house. Mm -hmm. That's just the tap. Well, I think if I'm reading this correctly, the estimate for uh, Cobbers Hill was for County Lines portion was it 0.339 miles? Where is that mean? It's uh, right here. Uh, yeah, 0.339. Okay. Do we even have this much money in the road? Oh, that's just... Uh, that's, that, was, that was one of the problems is uh, we don't have... No, I measured that twice. Okay. And from right, from right here to here is 0.215. Okay. And uh, that's what we have right here. Right here. Uh, Right along in here, the second time. I, I turned the air on to try to get it as good as it could have been. Because it was like point three eight seven. So when you're three 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 I had one in my garage, and I told them I to have it I'm going to have to have it because well, it's right at three And you can't lift that. Oh, I'll come for two. I mean, it's right no there. There's a state. You can't put it right here. Just off the road. No. The power line that goes across here. And from here, out to here. Point one seven two. Uh, three point three eight seven. But the first time I made it, we had So I just stayed with that because that's that's taken off completely. It has a meter that's made by the fluid based on the uh, real motion on the drive shaft. So this, you know, it's a give or take a little bit right there. But I hop up there. Well, just hop up there, Lucy. So that that's the part we be paying for. Here, here, here. <laughs> Great. Well, it's not much I'm and just going to say. I know that, but you don't have to do that. Gina just got whipped in front of the chair. In front of the bubble. I do not know the number. Okay, they're the ones that live on the hill in the double wide that has the high roof on it and that where you said they needed a culvert under their driveway. So is that what? Is that Blunt County? That's Blunt County. Are y'all going to do that? Oh, yes. Yeah, John Davis said it looks like it's going to be bad over there. Over there. Over there. Because right in there is really. This is the worst place right here. Yeah. Just something to find out. How much of all this cost right here do we have? So, all of that. All of that. That is based on just. Just uh, I don't know, Van was out here working this afternoon, but he was, there was smoke coming out of the diesel truck that he was. And those rates are based on FEMA rates. It's about as cheap rate as you can get. That's, that's all that we're, that's what we're allowed to charge. Right. Well, how long would it take to do that road? Because it's a one-way road through there, and people have to get out and in to go to work. It won't take that long to do or fix it. Work will be blocked. Uh, as far as the reclaimer going through there, it'll walk through there, you know, pretty quick. Uh, my recommendation on that would be would be to go ahead and plow it up this fall. Let it set through the uh, winter, then we'll come back in in June and uh, plow the latter part of June and uh, resurface it. 
when you say plow it up, you're talking about taking the gravel that's there already and the pavement up? Yeah, we'll take the asphalt. Just leaving it dirt? We'll put some gravel out. Because <laughs> it rains a lot in the yeah. winter. <laughs> now what we do on that is we take a reclaimer, which it tears all the asphalt up and it mixes it in with the dirt. Then for any places that needs additional gravel, we'll put that gravel in there. And also if there's any places, uh, you know, uh, the soil's not suitable, you know, to for compaction, then we'll put 80, 90, 10 stone in there and, uh, and mix it in with the gravel so that it'll be hard. And the reason I like to leave that through the winter, it'll give you a little bit more time to set up. And I know just the residents going through there, uh, it'll take a while to get compaction on it. Even though we run a packer on it, it still needs to sit through the, through the winter to, uh, you know, get firm. Then they'll have a good road. You can tell by the way the road is chewed up that it's soft ground. Right. It needs something mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. yeah, it'll have to have some material put in with it. Yeah. And there is a school bus that go four times a day down that road. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back and forth four times. That won't be a problem. We'll work with that. That won't be a problem. Can I ask next? Yeah. And we're, we're up here. We're learning. We're doing a learning experience here for us. Well, we're doing it together. Okay. We're doing it you together. Know. And uh, there's just been some questions that's been asked and uh, to see if we could get an answer for them. But it's like Beans Ferry Road. Deans Ferry Road is a thoroughfare. Mm -hmm. Is Would that be not covered under Blount County all the way from one end to the other of their part? Or? I checked with the engineer on that late this afternoon. And uh, it was my understanding that part of that was in the county line. Now, he was going to do some research tomorrow and try to find out if that was a, uh, you know, uh, through a fair road that would belong to the county. Yeah. But I, let me ask a question there. Does anybody know if the county has ever worked that road? They paved that road the last time it was paved, what county did. did. Did they pay for it or who paid for it? They paid for it. The county paid for it? Okay. Didn't well, they, that's, John that's David, do you remember when it was paid? I don't. Do you remember when it was paid, John David? No. Malcolm would probably yeah, know. Yeah, I thought Malcolm know. would be here tonight. I didn't call Yeah, him, I don't think that, the, actually the town has never paid for any yeah. of these roads yeah. that I know of. Well, I met with Malcolm and, uh, and he showed me where the uh, property line was, mm -hmm. the town limits, you know, line was. But he never mentioned anything about yeah it. well the last time the when it was paved was when earl askew was mm -hmm. the um commissioner which has been several sure. years ago and blunt county paid for the whole road i'm sure because county lines never had the money mm -hmm. to pay well, roads. if that be the case that will be a plus for county line all right yeah. you know. mm -hmm. would that hold true with uh, Smith Mill also. Well, you know, Blunt County. I mean, Blunt County also put the stuff on Cobb Brazil Road. On all of it. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I I can't answer on that. Yeah. But you can research it, right? Yes, I'm I'm going to research it. Yeah. Well, I know um, County Line didn't pay for it, uh, and you know they said that um, they got. I don't, they, they've never had grants here, so mm -hmm. um, I know that somebody paid for it and it had to be Blount County, I guess. Well, my information that I had was based on after I talked with the mayor, and uh, and that's what my most promote proposals were based on. Mm -hmm. But now after talking with our engineer this afternoon, after he met with the mayor, then there is some question there that we've got to do a little bit more research on. Well, I, I know for, I've lived here most of my life, mm -hmm. and I know for a fact that the town has never worked on the roads because they've never had that much money. Yeah. I know Carl uh, Brazil, he told me, was not even on our county map. You. So, you know, I, I Well, I it's a dead end road. I don't know why it wouldn't be on the map. It because should be. There's been people that's lived down, I've lived down that road myself for. 30, well, 40 years. Yeah, you know, years ago, you can go right on to the ballpark yeah. at Trapper down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But if, um... Thank you, sir. Somebody asked me the question, and I'm just asking because he asked me to ask you. If you put six-inch gravel 
on that road and stand it up, how are people going to get in and out of their driveway? I won't be putting six inches of gravel on Cobbers Hill. Okay. And what I do when I plow it up, and if I need crush and run in there, then I mix that in with it, which it's real fine. And uh, then it'll just be smooth. Then I'll put a mow grader on it, it'll be smooth. And for any places that need additional gravel, it'll just be enough to cover the dirt. You'll have a good surface. You'll have a better road when I plow it up and leave it dirt than you've got right now. Okay. Well, you know, out of, coming out of my driveway now, it's high, and we have to go out the corner of the driveway and around because when they did the work before, they left it all high and, you know, so if we go out straight and turn, it drags our bumper. So we have to go out the corner of the driveway and go turn. Go out at an angle. At an angle, yeah. So. We'll try to eliminate that. Uh -huh. I, I'm not familiar with your driveway, so I won't promise anything that I can't hold true to, but I will say we'll work with you and try to correct that. Thank you. Well, just, just by uh, tearing up the existing road, you want to take down some of that height, and once it's resurfaced, I think it'll reduce the height quite a bit, uh, particularly at her driveway, if it's yeah. crowned correctly. Mm -hmm. Well, that's mainly to get the water off of it and, uh, and have it ditched so that, you know, that you'll have a good road. Sure. Once you have to raise that pipe that you're talking about over there, that's on the county. The it's have to raise it? Yeah, it's below the shoulders. Now he's talking about putting a culvert under the bubble driveway. The I don't know what we'll have to raise it in, as long as the water runs through it. You're talking about the one the Bobo's put in, aren't you? I'm talking about the one that Bobo. Yeah, that's on that that. The shoulders are higher than the pipe is there. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, they put a pipe in from um, when you're going in on Copper Seal, mm -hmm. the single wide that when you come around the curve and there's a single wide on the left, on the left. they put um, a pipe in from up in the woods mm -hmm. right there mm -hmm. and ran it down through the yard mm -hmm. and down the side of the road and across the road to mm -hmm. eliminate some of the water. That's the one where you said that we'd have to move the mailboxes and all that stuff right, right in there. I'm but. familiar with the pipe. I do not know the depth of it. Uh, I can't do anything on private property. I'll have to make it work out on right away. Okay. Well, that's what, what John right David was talking about. Ditch to ditch. Okay. Well, that's I did come up with a list of property owners on Copper's Hill on both sides of it. Uh, I do have that uh, list. See? Good. Yeah. They're all willing to work well, with us on that? I have a list. <laughs> I haven't talked to them all yet. Oh, okay. But uh, I was able to uh, come up with a list of property owners that had property that uh, uh, came up to Copper's Hill. Okay. So yeah. I, I have talked with Van Lowell Hill and as far as his, his property there with the uh, fences and the trees where it's grown up. He's told us we can do anything we want to do. Okay. So are you going to try to widen the road some? If the property owners will let us, I'll widen it as much as I can. Well, Otherwise, I can just go ditch to ditch. Sue Francis said her mother gave right of way on the left side of Coppersville going in mm -hmm. um, years ago for them to widen the road. That's when um, they went down the wrong side of the road and had a lawsuit about it and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. I know you've heard the story. Everybody has. But they were supposed to go down on the left-hand side. That's where the right-of-way was. But now her mother's passed away, so Sue owns that property, but she said, she said not long ago that the right-of-way was, was still, still available. Right. Is there documentation of that fact? Yeah, or she she would give it to you more than likely. She owns the property now. Mm -hmm. she so she, I'm so sure she would, because she said that her mother gave the right away and she would. And I think know. she said something to me about they did something and didn't do the trees or whatever that they were supposed to do. They cut three trees down on her property. They went down across on her property, property instead, instead of, of the right away. Yeah. Okay. 
but she would she would I'm sure that whatever her mother did Sue Francis would adhere to she would do the same thing and yeah, say she that wants it fixed. she wants it fixed as, as much as anything. Her um, her property starts where the fence post is and goes to the end of the fence post. So that's a you know pretty good stretch right there where you could widen it. And uh, then it then Van's property starts just right down the road on the other side. Right. And uh, I'm sure all of us would give you right away. Um, I'm not you know I don't know about the bobos you think the bobos I, I can't would say do for it. them they probably would right there well, to get it fixed they yeah, should i'm sure they would well, but, we may... yeah it does need to be widened it's really dangerous through there uh, because people come through there that don't live down that road and people that do live down the road too sometimes doing about 40 and 50 miles an hour on that little one lane road that rough. Yeah. <laughs> They're crazy. They do. I'm, I'm serious. I mean, we had we, on Dean's Ferry Malcolm said the other right day on Dean's yeah, Ferry that a lady Dean. come barreling down Dean's Ferry doing 60 miles an hour and hit one of those things and tore the bottom of her car out. And he says, the town's going to be liable. I said, uh uh. I mean, not for stupidity, we're not. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you know, that's, that's true. you go down the road into 60 miles an hour and you got all those potholes. You're, you're an idiot. So. <laughs> I'll just stand up and tell you to <laughs> Is this an estimate or a firm price? <coughs> it's actually an estimate, but if you wanted it as a firm price, I, I can write it up as a firm price based on anything unforeseen. Uh, we it's don't want it's it fairly as a close. Price. It's fairly <laughs> close. We don't want it as a fire promise. We want it as an estimate so if it doesn't so go. If it comes out yeah. less. If it comes out less, we've got to. Well, that, that's fine. I, I, I'll do that. I mean, we just got through we one from the town of Cleveland and uh, we estimated so many tons of gravel and we didn't use that many because we didn't charge them for it. Well, that's one of you the know. things I'm concerned about. Yeah. It seems like you got an awful lot of pressure run on there. I don't see where you're going to need mm -hmm. that much. We may not. It depends on the material that's there, whether or not we have to, you know, put that much in and mix it in. Could it be written up no more than X number of dollars? There would still have to be a law there because we don't know what we have what. to have something mm -hmm. else, yeah. Yeah, because we don't know what type of material is in the ground. Well, that's uh, true. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. I see. Unless the town wanted to do a lot of engineering. You know, some boring and stuff like that. You don't want to do that. No, I I've been practicing lazy. It took long to get involved. Gene and I were in the trucking business. Brenda's getting it. Way too long. I got it up. It's just he grew up in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've worked at the rock quarries for 20 years. So I know, I know your language. I know what you're saying, well, and so does he because we built parking lots. Yes, we built parking lots. So you know what I'm talking about. And driveways. Right. And That's They've done the work. So when I relate to the project, we're still working. I think I've met him once before. I've seen him in a Cali truck. And I was at the last quarry was at Madison Materials. That might have been where it was at. You may have come through. Yeah, I've been up there. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. I, I pretty recognized your face when I came in. I see so many, saw so many people through that one that But I was in terror. Mm -hmm. And this is a question. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know it's, yeah. It cuts right across there. I had your trucks yeah. come up part of it. Larry and I are good friends. Yeah. 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 Larry and I are good friends. 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 Larry and I are good I knew that, uh, I didn't know when your house was in Florida. I think he's going to leave us this spot. 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 He's going to
on uh, on this on this estimate, the seventeen thousand for Copper Zell. Mm -hmm. Is there any way we can work that out with Blunt County, or we have to have to pay a lump sum, or? I will have to check with our administrator on that. Is there any over a long period of time? Yeah, or, and do you know if anybody's got that could tell us how to get a grant for it? Oh, we as a town need to know how to write grants. No, no, no. We have we've had an offer, but we have to ask him. Who is it? Cecil Calvert said he would write us a grant. He yeah. said he would write us a grant for anything, would not charge us anything until we got the grant, and then he would take his pay out of that. And he said, but he will not um, do volunteer it. to do it, but if we ask him, he will do it. Yeah. Well, and, and incidentally, as uh, Commissioner Strickland mentioned earlier, I did meet with the county engineer today okay. uh, with that in mind. Uh, to solicit help from anybody and everybody okay. on possible the possibility of getting grants for road work uh, because you know we want to get this done on Copper Hill Road but we're going to have to we got to pay for it and we don't have this we don't have that much money in our road accounts now and probably won't have it this time next year uh, we did we have an enact, enacted and as we're on tax, but it will not go into effect until next tax year, not this fall, but the following year. Uh, that we won't get that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we're not going to get a whole lot from that, but that would probably be what we use uh, the majority of that money for is to pay off the road work. Uh, but anyway. Uh, we're going to have to find out uh, what kind of payment options we have. Here, uh, yeah, can we pay a dollar down, dollar a week? Like, <laughs> <laughs> can, we sell, can, we sell, can we sell the county a swing set out here? Uh, yeah, we sell the county. You know, like the county like to buy a, a, a play set out here? Play set, yeah. yeah. And we'll trade that. Mm -hmm. We'll throw it in. Yeah. <laughs> they, they paid $5,800 for a wheel it for a little less. A little less. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They didn't even take it down and all it, so you put it, it in the park. It was weird, that thing. Anyway. Uh, <coughs> all right. Well, do we have any other questions from the commissioner? Well, I, I don't know if I can bring this up. Bring it up. Um, because, but we're talking about Coppersill Road. Is there any way that we can get a, a sign down there that's uh, with the speed limit or something on it, um, or a sign that says slow, you know, because, I mean, like I said, people are just flying up and down that road. Well, I don't know if that would come from the county. Do y'all don't have it? Yeah, we do signs. Sign. The county does signs. Okay. Uh, like slow Put it on the county spot. Something, something there you go. just to slow. Uh, well, people's not going to slow down no. for well, slow children. That's, play. that's what I was thinking. So you could put up a sign. But and they're not going to do it. I mean, if we had a speed limit sign, that might. Who's going to enforce it? Nobody, because we don't have a police Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's what we talked about here. If we put a sign up here, mm -hmm. who's going to, mm -hmm. you know, People don't pay any attention. I mean, realistically, right. you know, they're not going to pay attention. Right. And if you put it up, is it going to stay there? No, yeah. they'll shoot holes in it. Yeah. <laughs> or, hey, we had a stop sign that was bank. taken down before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, since they moved the Copper Zell sign on the other side of the road, it uh -huh. stayed there. Really? Mm -hmm. The road sign. When it was on the, the right side, people kept, kept stealing it and knocking it over. And now that it's been moved to the left side, it stayed there. So. Okay. Well, that's, well, that's because Maybe the driver's side of the road had to stop and get out. Stay there. Otherwise, they was letting somebody out over here. Okay. It was a little more complicated. <laughs> All right. Uh, if we have no more questions for the commissioner, I would like to say one thing. I'll, in all my questioning, asking, I wasn't trying to put no burden on Blunt County. <laughs> We're just trying to get it figured out. I understand, here. and I'm I'm here to work with the town 
not against the town and I'll do whatever I can and I'll do the best that I can to find out what the county can do so that the county, I mean the uh, town won't have to bear that expense. So you're going to check to see who yeah, paid got Copper's more, Hill? Mm -hmm. I got some more research to do there. Dean's Ferry uh, and Smith Mill, Smith Mill, is that also a through, through ferry? Uh, in talking with uh, the engineer after you met with him today, mm -hmm. there's a question there I've got to find out on that. Okay. There's a possibility uh, that it does belong to the town, and, and we might do some, if, if it's in the town, we might do some swapping there that we accept the responsibility of certain roads and let y'all accept the responsibility of certain, certain roads. Okay. We I adopt just... a resolution, you know, to do that, and whatever we do, we need to adopt a resolution so that you won't have this problem in, in the future. Yes. In the same way with the county, you know, if I may be here one term, you know, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, whatever we agree on, we'll do a resolution so that the next commissioner or the next council comes in, they won't have to go through what you're going through. I just want to thank you for coming and meeting with Amen. us and yeah, trying yes, to I do something. Too. I appreciate it. You know, because like I say, we're all new and we're learning. Well, I'm new too. I'll, I'll admit that. You know, I'm, I'm having to learn too, but I appreciate the opportunity to come down here. Pleasure to meet each one of you. And I'm here to work with you, not against you. And I'll do everything I can to hit you. Well, that, that's what certainly appreciate it. How yep. about a cup of coffee? <laughs> I wouldn't care for one too late in the day for that. Uh, 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 any other business needs to be brought to well, the council? I've got plans to, you know. You know that we have a motion to adjourn. Okay, so you're going to work on it. You're going to take on us a payment plan. All in favor. I'll ask. Thank you. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned? Meeting adjourned. Thank you, everybody. All your Got to pay attention now.